Hello, my name is Alan Newberry, and today we're going to talk about your choices in silver wire inlay wire and where to get it. Also, I'm going to show you a few clips here from this past weekend's silver wire inlay class at the Eureka Spring School of the Arts. I've done this class for the past few summers, uh, just a single one day class each year uh, for six people. It's kind of a, a fun class where you can get your feet wet and learn the technique and I send you home with a set of tools and a little bit of wire so you can keep it going on your own projects at home. Then what we're going to talk about now is where do you get the wire? I usually get it from hagstaws.com. Um, they have an inlay wire section. You go there, they'll have a drop down menu with the top two items being the most popular sizes as far as thickness goes in Inlay wire, you've got 8 thousandths by 55 thousandths and 13 thousandths by 55 thousandths. You can select the number of feet you want or the weight in ounces that you want, and it'll tell you how much it costs right there, and you can add it right to your cart. However, if you just go, do it through their store, it's going to be half hard, which is great for the 8 thousandths wire. And if you're going to do the thicker wire, which is the 13 thousandths wire, I like that dead soft, so you have to probably call them or put it in the notes section maybe. I've always called. Anyway, here is the thicker wire, which is the 13 thousandths thick. It is dead soft, so that's why when I bend it here, it kind of keeps the bend in it. But it, it kind of puts the bends in random places, and it's not a real smooth... Uh, bend when you put it in there and then when you try to straighten it out it's it kind of remembers all the bending that you've ever done and whenever I inlay it into the wood I kind of usually have to end up nudging it into being a straight way uh, straight line with my pusher um, and uh, but it has one advantage which is right here and it's a big advantage and that is it can be bent in this axis right here uh, so that you can do the inlaying on a curved surface. So like a rounded handle on a knife, uh, it works just fine in that. Um, so look right here, it goes right over a curved handle without being much of a problem at all. Not to say that that still isn't a tricky thing to do, but the wire can handle it. Um, then... We have another size wire, and that is the eight thousandths, and it's done with a half hard temper. And with that, it makes lovely curves and arches. Uh, so whenever you make those beautiful scrolls, uh, it looks great. Um, it doesn't show all that little kinking there. A little straight piece works great, but here, it won't bend. It will not bend in that other direction, except fractionally. Um, so it gets tricky when you try to go around a curved surface. One, one thing I do sometimes is I will do a little undercut, which I'm showing you right here. I just cut a little triangular notch going about halfway up the wire. And what that will allow me to do is allow the wire to bend at that one spot. So then it's going to be a very sharp turn, but it will make the turn. Um, so that is one way you can do it. There is another technique, which is just start another wire. So I can have one wire kind of on the top side and then another wire on the side and then just butt those two pieces up together. Um, so right here, though, here it is unstraightened and you can kind of see there how that little hinge works. And then here in just a second, ah, here you go. Here's a... Uh, illustration of it right there so you can see I just cut a little triangular notch about halfway in and then it will fold at that point so that is something I do sometimes I also like I was saying I just use two pieces of wire so maybe one kind of up towards the top side and then whenever I'm gonna make that turn going down the slope I'll use another piece of wire so this one right here is on a very curved handle and I use a little bit of both of those techniques uh, going into that one, and this handle isn't yet finished, but, I mean, the inlay is done, but it hasn't had any handle finish done on the, on the knife, but here is the softer wire. This one is just, I just do one piece of wire and did a scroll, and it goes right over there. What a lot of people do is if they're going to use the half hard wire, they usually have a flat section on their handle, and they do the inlaying in that flat section. Um, so basically, if I have a handle 
that or an item that is flat I will use the half hard wire and I think it looks lovely and it works better for that but if I have a curved handle I'm generally going to reach for that thicker wire the 13 thousandths wire with a dead soft hardening it's just so much more flexible for those curved handles but you do kind of have to nudge it to make it straighter and to get any kinks out of those curves so thanks for watching if you have any questions put them down in the comments or look me up online i'm alan newberry and thank you for watching and have a great day